Incentive compensation can be of all kinds, from cash profit sharing, to gain sharing, to discretionary bonuses, stock options, to outright equity, etc. If you look closely at how value is created in the company, you will come to the conclusion the value is primarily created by incremental gains in something, which is why today I would like to focus on gain sharing. We have used this approach effectively because we believe in its premise, i.e., if you as an employee contribute to a gain, we will share it with you. And if you don't produce a gain, we won't. Gain sharing can be set up for all kinds of company areas. Let's look at a couple of examples. Let's take a manufacturer looking to reduce the cost per unit on its products. The existing cost per unit for the manufacturer is $10.50. The production department is given an incentive to reduce the existing cost per unit. They successfully reduce the cost per unit by 50 cents, which when multiplied by the production volume, leads to a gain of a half a million dollars. This half a million dollar gain, or a portion of it, can be shared with employees participating in this specific gain sharing program. Let's take another quick example. Say a company wants to reduce its labor cost. Its existing labor cost is $4 million. It installs a gain-sharing incentive plan. The employee's responsible reduced labor costs by $150,000, which can then be shared. The sharing percentage is always up to management, but here's how it could break down. Company share for profits and or working capital could be 60%. The overall company bonus pool could get 20%. The manager responsible could get 10% and the employee group with the biggest contribution to the goal could get an additional 10%. Let's talk about designing incentive compensation in your company. The first thing you need to do is set up benchmarks. You need baselines on historical performance in areas you want to improve, as well as targets of where you want to end up. These baselines can be measured not just against performance targets, but also against a group of employees or against goals like accomplishing a strategic objective, etc. These can be measured with financial key performance indicators or with non-financial targets like process improvement or customer service trends, etc. The compensation could be determined based on various inputs or a predefined structure. Let's talk about implementation of this and what's involved. For this, we've developed a proprietary cascading framework that links everyone and their key performance indicators from the CEO to the company, departments, and in some cases the functions and processes, and most certainly the managers and the employees. Next, we ensure that key employee accountabilities and the key performance indicators are linked. And then we connect these to predetermined incentive compensation. Incentivizing individual employees can be effective, but it's only one part of the puzzle. An individual is only one part of an overall chain of people and activities, which is why we group the company hierarchy in multiple levels. In this case, group one is the CEO, group two, the company, group three is the department, group four, the manager, and group five are the employees, etc. By grouping the various levels, it allows us to pick and choose who's included for incentive compensation. For example, a company-wide target, if met, could add incentive compensation to all employees, whereas certain things may qualify for incentives for an entire department and others may provide specific compensation for the managers in that department. While incentive compensation plans can be complex, if implemented correctly, they can be remarkably effective, especially if you connect employee performance and the underlying gain to the right employee compensation. Rare Brain Capital helps companies like yours improve performance and sell for maximum value. How ready is your company to grow or sell? Come see how you're doing. Get your free score and customized report in just a few minutes at no cost or obligation. Visit rarebrain.com forward slash score.